Turning out a bull is easier than using artificial insemination. But is it better? A field expert says not if you're counting the many benefits of AI for beef cattle. It allows you to improve the reproductive efficiency of your cow herd uh, because we shorten your calving interval, we get more of those cows to calve in the first 21 days. So it can be used as a risk management tool to remove some of the risk that you would find with unproven bulls. And then I think the other advantage is that it really allows you to select genetics um, that are going to fit your marketing um, environment that you're maybe trying to market those cattle as well as your feed environment. The large variety of genetics available with AI shouldn't intimidate producers. One strategy is to narrow choices by selecting for desired EPDs or expected progeny differences or other traits. That could be um, fleshing ability, utter quality, um, maybe improving feet, things like that. So there's a wide range of you know uh, discussions that we have with our producers in terms of selecting bulls. The fewer bulls you use, the more uniformity you're going to have. Um, and particularly if you're trying to improve certain traits, we may want to really target a narrow group of bulls that are going to allow you to move forward for things like um, you know, heifer pregnancy or marbling or, or something specific you're trying to improve. Marshall also says proven AI sires can foster rapid improvement without sacrificing their herd's maternal instincts. We can make those genetics available to you at a really um, you know, very reasonable cost that's competitive with the bull, and yet um, because they are so genetically balanced and really good across the board, they're going to allow you to make genetic improvement in a lot of ways, including uh, in product merit. I'm Bob Cervera.